just got to be uh, dedicated. And I knew I was dedicated when I got out there. I knew what I wanted to do, you know? It just manifested and it happened. Brady takes the snap. Five-step drop. He's in trouble. He is sacked. He is brought down back at the 27-yard line. It is Stephon Charles who brings down Tom Brady. What's going on, guys? Motivation Monday, episode 82. Okay, I'm here with my man, Stephon Charles. What's going on, bro? We just hit a crazy workout, a, a quick lift, and then we got in the field here. We're doing some drills and some work in. So, Steph, man, just for the people that don't know you, coming out of Scarborough, being a football player, played in the high school, killed it, went on to college, played with Regina out there, and then spent some time in the NFL and just working on your craft. Give us a little bit of feedback of how it felt to be a Canadian and, you know, reaching that ultimate goal of getting to the NFL, man. I had a dream that I wanted to do something special, so something unique. And you know, I wouldn't let no way to make it there. So I just, just got out of the mud. Got the, got the opportunity to play at a CIS level. You know, played two years, three seasons there. Went to Altamini and all that stuff. Got you know, drafted in the CFR. She loved me. She got a combine. And I played in the NFL as a free agent for five seasons. And you know, I'm still trying to extend that and still. Chasing, chasing that, that dream always so well. Uh, you know, it's something, something surreal at the end of the day. So for you, just coming up, what do you think was the toughest thing that you faced, or like the most adversity in terms of just getting to that NFL level? Because obviously for us as Canadians, we don't have as much exposure. It's a lot harder, and I mean, it's quite an accomplishment. And you know, the kids these days, they have a little bit more opportunity because there's more, you know, social media and there's a lot better networking and, and you know, people making moves in terms of how that takes. But we didn't quite have all that stuff back in the day. What do you think was it for you that really helped you get past and like, push you past that limit? Shit, at the end of the day, I know it's, 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 it's different opposed to like 10, years, five, six years ago when now YouTube was it like when you did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, the different outlets for media, the different outlets to get exposure on your own. It was completely different. You had to be like Ryan Diaz. Can. Yeah, yeah, the Ryan Diaz. Yeah, everyone went to Ryan Diaz. Whatever, like, whatever. That was your hope, you know? I did that one time. You know, I didn't end up getting too many looks or whatever. Whatever it may be, you make the open call out summer, open and get a, get a look and get, you know, that time on the field because, like, our season is short eventually or whatever. So, yeah. you just gotta be persistent, man. Have the golf, you know? And just, and just, for me, it was more so. Personally, nobody was, I wasn't like, you know, this kid was amazing and then all this, and nobody was really like, that person was raining down, but I knew what I, I knew what I wanted, I knew what my own value was. Yeah. So I knew, based off what I wanted, what, what, what I seen other yeah. players do, what I seen, what I could do and feel like, you know, there's definitely a possibility for me to stay focused here on my path, here on my track. And you know, a lot of time, you know, for you to get to a goal or get to, get to a destination that you want, you just gotta, you gotta be focused. You gotta be tunnel vision on what you want. You can't always listen to the outside voice. You can't listen to you know, the critics. You're gonna, you gotta have to take criticism, especially in, 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 in any business. In, in, in our field, as an athlete, the commitment is everything, you know, and, and, and failure is everything too. You know, failure crafts with how you are as an as, as a individual, how you are as, as a person, how you respond, to, you know. Rough situation, how you respond to, to, to setbacks and everything, you know. So, it was for sure, uh, just have a resolve to stay focused, you know, and believe in yourself more than anything. Man, I love that you said that. Believing in yourself is it's so big, not only as an athlete, but anything really you do in life. It's like you said, you're always going to have the naysayers, the people that tell you you can't, the people that try to drag you down, the realists. Yeah, and you, got people, you got people that, that might, you know, do the opposite of that. Is to just Stuff that you want to hear, you know, yeah. stuff you want to hear too. You know? That's true. You gotta take the good and the bad. That's it. And you gotta stay balanced. Uh, you know, staying balanced and ultimately just knowing that you yourself have the capability to do what you want to do if you put it in the work. Like you said, it's not like you can just you know set those goals and then just go eat a sandwich. Like you yeah. really have to, you really have to put in the work. And it's quite evident that you have, man. And what do you think is one of your favorite experiences so far? You know, in your whole career, whether it be college, pros, or what do you think was the highlight of coming up? Well, definitely just, you know, just the, just the, just the, the hunt thing, you know, and the passion you got to put into your own craft, the passion you got to put into getting up every day, you know, some days you don't want to trip, some days you may not feel like, you know, doing practice, but that's something that 
come to win and come to the territory. So regardless, you know, just just, just having that everyday resolve, every day trying to chase greatness, trying to chase your old self. And, and one thing I'll say, competition is always between you and me. Right. The first mistake you can ever make is trying to be like that guy, like that girl, and want to be better than them. But you can set, you can set precedents and set, you know, records and goals that you want to surpass, but don't ever take you as an individual and try to be like another person, you know? Just right. try to respect the game, respect what they do, and, you know, emulate that into your craft. But you always gotta be you at the end of the day. Right. And, um, one thing I'll say, like, it was just between CIS, you know, it's just, when I got there, I, I almost thought I was better than I was until I learned, like, okay, you know, he got to work out too, he got to train too. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's a difference, you gotta, you gotta up that, you gotta up your own game, you gotta yeah. up. And it, it comes down to it, man, it's, it's the individual. Individual effort, you know, individual commitment, and just being, being true to you and true to what you're trying to do, and being honest with yourself. So, yeah. If anything, I just say, like, you know, just being able to see the fruits of your labor is more than anything that uh, resonated with me. Just being able yeah. to say, like, you know, I didn't have that opportunity. I didn't have the even one scholarship. You did that. I didn't have a scholarship for middle school. I paid OSA. I did all that yeah. stuff on my own, well, on my own merit. So. Yeah. Being able to say like I did, I was able to do all of that and still get to where I was, you yeah. know. Can't nobody say success for myself, but nor can someone say success for you or who you are, what you are, you know. So that for me was just, you know, almost, you know, walking on water. So it's yeah. really impossible. That's awesome, man, because you set your own bar and we know, you know, what what you did, it's not that easy, but I think it's like you said, it's competing with yourself, being better than the person you were yesterday, every single day, and that's how you evolve and grow and get better. But the amazing thing is, man, and what I think a lot of people can take from this is that, you know, there's different paths to the final destination. Not everyone is gonna be a first round draft pick and, you know, get all those steps, or, you know, maybe you might have to be a free agent. Maybe you might have to be a late round draft pick and earn a starting spot. Like, at the end of the day, when he gets to camp, it's every man for himself, and every, everyone gets to play and gets the opportunity. So I think that's super special. But before we get up on out of here, man, I wanted to ask you what I'd ask everyone else on the show is just, what do you think is one piece of advice you would give to your younger stuff? You know, the young Stephon coming up on the come up. What do you think you would tell yourself on the come up? Just don't give up, stay focused, you know? It's never gonna be what you think it is. It's never gonna be easy as you want it to be. So just you know, stay consistent. Don't don't stop. The marathon's not a race. Don't stop. Just keep going. Even when it looks like it's not gonna happen, you can be one one chop away from knocking out that tree. You can be one, you know, scoop away from digging and taking the goal. So at the end of the day, man, you know what you want to do, and you know what you want to be at all means. You know, it, it, it exhaust yourself to it. Don't ever you want know, to take it for out like that. Because, you know, it's wrong to see like you get lying. Like I said, like, nothing's ever, nothing, nothing's ever uh, predetermined. You know, you gotta, you gotta find that out for yourself. You know? Yeah. And uh, that's all I was saying. You know, just stay focused, you know, and just and, and listen to your inner voice, listen to your inner, your inner, your gut feeling, you know. Gut feeling will never, ever get scared from, you know? ever. It's so true. We're just using that self-motivation to persevere and to push forward, man. That's awesome. You guys know, you already know what it is. A lot of people sleeping in this world. It's time to wake them up. It's Motivation Monday, episode 82. My man dropping straight knowledge on the day, bro. Thank you for coming out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember like in 1996, I told my mom I was gonna get drafted. I wanted to get drafted to the CFL because we were watching someone get signed to one of the teams and I'm like, mom, that's gonna do me. So that just, that just be uplifting and a blessing. So nothing more, like I said, I, that's just achievement I would wanna get.